this isn't advice. I don't want it to be advice. I don't want it to come off as advice. It's more, it's more of a thought. It's more of a question, really. It's tough. I, I, I'm willing to bet that most people are gonna put everything they can, all, all available emotional resources, physical resources they can, into making the relationship work with another person. But for the life of me, what I can't figure out is why so many people stay once they know the relationship is over. One of my good friends reached out to me today. This person left their marriage, what, maybe four or five years ago. Got so bad they, they had to call the police on the other person because they feared for their life. This was four or five years ago. This person was under the spell of a person who was really good at manipulation, guilt tripping. And so this person was guilt tripped uh, back into the marriage. They're in this marriage. There's no relationship. It's no love. Now this person reaches out to me to pretty much save them, uh, which I can't do, which no one can do. You can only save yourself. And so I asked this person, I said, what type of friend do you want me to be right now? Do you want me to just listen and be there for you to listen? Or are you looking for some type of direction or you know inspiration? This person said that they, they're, they're done listening and that they're so lost in life. They need some direction. They need some support. And of course, I don't, I, don't, I don't give advice. I only just share my perspective on what I think or what I would do or what I've done. And I pretty much told this person like this. If you stay, it sounds like you're gonna go through hell. If you leave, it sounds like you're gonna go through hell. Which option is gonna be more effective in the long run? Now for this person's specific situation, if they leave, they have uh, support you know, outside of the home. So they would be getting some support. But if they stay, they're not getting any support. They're, they don't even have a friendship with the person they're married to. Like They literally hate each other. Um, and they have kids. And so, you know, when you have kids, you know, you can't, you can't sit there and act like your kids are naive or they're dumb, like they don't know what's going on. Plus, you don't want to give them that example. You know, I'm never going to be the one to tell anyone to end a marriage. I will never do that. But I am, I did, I, I saw, I watched my parents stay long, much longer than they needed to. And it just fucked them up more and more and more. Why do you stay if both paths are gonna feel like hell? Why don't you pick the one that's gonna be more effective? It's gonna hurt if you go this way, it's gonna hurt if you go that way. So pick the one that's gonna be more effective in the long run and just go through that hell so you can get out of it. That's what I would do. Wouldn't be easy, of course not. It's definitely not gonna be easy, but I know if I'm struggling or sad, going through depression, having a lack of resources, and I have loving people who want to help over here, and then I don't have loving people who don't give a damn over here. That tells me what I would do. I would just swallow my pride, put everything aside. Even if I have to be on a couch or a floor for a little while, so I can build myself back up. I'm, I'm going where those people are that are willing to help. That's just me. There's no type of pride in me that's going to keep me uh, in, a, in a toxic situation. I gotta get out of a toxic situation and I have to recover. That's my mindset. Thank you for watching my video today.